So going in with my daily moisturizer, I'm just moisturizing the bottom portion of my face because I did block out my brows with some glue, so I didn't want to disturb that. And then I am going in with my KKW Beauty Color Corrector, and I'm using the orange shade. It's shade number three, just to block out my brow hairs and like the under, like underneath my eyes. I really didn't want the darkness of my brows to peek through for my foundation or my concealer. So that's why I went in with the color corrector just to minimize my hair showing up as, um, if, cause if I didn't like you wouldn't see the hairs a lot more since my hairs are brown. Um, so I just went in with that color corrector, blended that out. I let it sit for just a few, um, seconds just before I blended it out, just so it could be a little more high coverage. Guys, it's so weird doing voiceovers and just getting back into YouTube because I have been gone for a minute. Child, I've been gone, but I'm back, I'm back. And with this P. Louise shade, I'm using it to kind of basically conceal my brows just to further ensure that they don't peek through so I get that flawless no brow look. And yes, oh girl, I am feeling myself. Uh uh, yes, okay, okay. And going in with my skin blur by Fenty Beauty, I love my holy grail, Rihanna. It's okay that you're not making music because you made this like tinted moisturizer. You've literally saved my life. Honestly, it's way better than all my foundations. And it's not like a normal skin tint where you use one drop and you feel like you didn't cover anything. Literally, I could use two drops of this stuff and I feel like my whole face is legit covered like my foundation. And it's super light and airy. I really forget that I'm wearing foundation. I am obsessed. And then going in with warm sand in in the color warm sand by my favorite concealer favorite holy grail concealer um the born this way concealer and i'm using a shade that's literally my color but it's just to kind of cover up the color corrector as well as give it a little more coverage so that when i go in with my lighter shade you can't see any of the orange because if i were to go in with my highlighting shade it would kind of mix in a little bit with the color corrector and sometimes it would actually like you could see the darkness still peek through so I go in with a concealer that is my shade just to give it that coverage and then I go in with a lighter shade to highlight and sort of just give that brightness to my face and shape my face and my favorite I know everything's my favorite but literally guys like honestly once I bought these things, like I've been on like a makeup haul and doing a lot more makeup for clients. So I'm seeing what works for them as well as like what I like working with. So Tantor by the Huda Beauty is one of my favorite like makeup finds that I have been recently using. I love this cream contour. It just, it, it can be high definition, but it can also be natural and flawless like there's been times where I just use concealer and the tantor and it literally looks I'm wearing like I'm wearing a full face of makeup but I'm not and it's just super natural airy and amazing going in with a super light concealer you don't have to really do this with this sort of makeup look because when I do the shadows it kind of blends all out so you don't really see like that super highlighted look but this is an amazing trick that I really like doing where I use a super white concealer and I really like highlight the inner corner and like the highest points of my nose and stuff. It gives me this like pop of dimension with my concealer that I am obsessed with. And I'm just blending that out with my beauty blender, not really a beauty blender, the knockoff beauty blender, but whatever. I digress. It gets the job done and it blends it all out. <laughs> and I actually set that all in with my Huda Beauty. It's so like weird saying Huda Beauty. But yeah, I set that all in with my Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade Pound Cake. And I use that literally all under my eye as well as like my entire face. Then going in with the shade 
wears the SPF in the Mama Mitchell. I love saying that Mama Mitchell um, cream blush. One of the cream blushers. I use that as a setting or like a base for my shadows. And I really blended it out in this sort of like butterfly sort of shape where like the darker colors were at the inner the outer corner and then it faded into like that sort of shape as you can see and I didn't really like have a map of where I wanted the colors I just know I wanted this sort of watercolor faded you know where some points were looking like that was where all the color was deposited and just faded and aired out that's where I was going for this sort of abstract look. So don't be afraid to sort of not have a roadmap, if that makes sense, of just where your colors are. So I wasn't too concerned with that. I just wanted to make sure that they were still sort of blended in the sense where it didn't look muddy or just like all over the place. But I still wanted this sort of abstract very painting looking sort of um watercolor look on my eye where it just just looked magical like I felt like it looked magical so that's what I did and with the colors I'm going in with mostly like the red shades I am picking up a few sort of purple shades just to deep in certain spots but I mostly went in with um some of my favorite reds I use the palette mostly the carnival palette um, and then I used a few red shades in the um, color book, the matte book. Um, I used some of the reds in that shade, but mostly I use the Carnival 3 palette. And I'm just going in, blending out all those reds, buffing it out, making sure it kind of gives me that sort of, you know, editorial look that I was going for. And the shimmer shade, I think, just tied it all in because it photograph so well just the like pop of shimmer all over the lid and it was this sort of purpley color so I think it really tied in the look as you can see like certain spots are dark mostly like in my inner corner because it created that hollow look that I was going for that's why I posted that's why I um, put a lot of the darker colors but then I wanted that fade out so that's why I see like the edges are a lot more faded and lighter using more of the lighter reds going in with these this highlighter not these highlighters but this highlighter by uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, very iridescent color where like it t picks up some of the color of whatever it, the base is on so in the pan it looks like a pink shift sort of purple shift and obviously with the red underneath it really picked up mostly that pink shift um and I thought it looked so beautiful but if you lay that color on blues or greens and stuff like that you'll see that shift as well so that's why I loved it I did use those shades as well like the reddish shade on my nose and I buffed it on my top lip and bottom lip just to give me that sort of smudge look that I was going for like I just ate like a demon or something I don't freaking know super spooky I thought it looked creepy and all that and with the KKW Beauty lip liner I am lining my lips and using it essentially as a lipstick and I just popped on some lashes that I got from the drugstore and splattered this blood, fake blood, all over my face um, to give this sort of freckled blood splatter look. It's pretty much the look completed, guys. So guys, welcome back to my channel. And yes, this look, um, sort of going for like this Bloody Mary, Bloody Bridal look I don't know it could be really interchangeable to like Bloody Mary or just like a bride like devilish bride or something like that so I actually got this idea from um Heather Morehouse I'll link her channel below and basically um I was heavily inspired by just her look and I just tried to give my own twist on it with like the blood splatter and the hair and the like you know just the costume the overall but and um 
there's just some things that are different but I was heavily inspired by her and I just wanted to recreate this like perfect Halloween look guys uh, the tears are made from it's actually made from the hot glue gun I placed it on like a, a sort of glass or you place it basically like on a non-stick parchment paper and then it just like cools down and peels right off and then I painted it with red nail polish and let it dry and made these teardrops they were kind of hard I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna front um but yes I think it really just like tied in the look just like the 3d blood oh yes yeah she is really giving she's really giving like countess sort of like vibes um especially with my little claw you know countess if you guys watch american horror stories um but yeah guys i love this look. i love how it came out i think it came out super cute this wig is like just a regular cheap synthetic wig from amazon um wasn't feeling it because my head is huge and literally it wasn't fitting but shoddy made it work and yes come through come through no brows i love like honestly blocking out the brows i love it guys so if you enjoyed this look if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel um don't forget to like this video obviously and follow me on instagram and yes guys see you see you next time